Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and we have another donation unboxing video. This is everything I received in the P.O. box during the month of February 2020, and I'm going to open all this stuff up and show you what I got. I want to give my usual disclaimer, if you want to send stuff to the channel, you're welcome to do that, but uh, I do not need anyone to send anything to me. Nobody should feel obligated to send stuff to me. Uh, if you would like to donate something to the channel, you can send it to the address you see on your screen now. And if I get anything in the month of March, I'll do another video like this next month and I will show everyone what you sent to me. So uh, thanks to everyone who sent stuff in now. Uh, and I'm going to open these up and uh, first I've got to... We've got to cut up and open all the boxes and uh, let's see what we got this month. All right, I've cut open all the boxes and this envelope. I'm going to start with this envelope. This is from Tim Bentley. Tim is a longtime supporter of the channel. I uh, has sent stuff before. Thank you very much, Tim, and thanks for all of your support for such a long time. So I'm going to open in this envelope up and see what we got. And I can tell right now, oh, cool, we got something for... So, something for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, it says, I'm lucky to have a friend like you. And it's got, uh, you know, your shamrocks all over it. And, oh, and we've got gold coins. Holy crap. Uh, oh, what's this? Okay, cool. Look. Pittsburghese. It's a book of Pittsburghese. Oh, this is nice. So this is like a book of um, Pittsburgh slang. Oh, that's awesome. No, I love these. I love this kind of thing. I th they do uh, books like this for Okies too, um, and it's always it's always cute. Let me see. Uh, let me see if there's anything appropriate in here that uh, that we can read here. Nor North side is the same as North side. Okay, um, mountains. That's uh, mountains. Uh, all right, I, I get it. I get it. This is that's, this is a lot of fun. I'll have a lot of fun reading through that. Um, and Tim sends a card. It says, Dear ACC, a.k.a. Brian, uh, please enjoy the book and have a great St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. Uh, here's some luck of the Irish for you and the missus. And he gives, he sends me some gold coins. Um, your friend Tim Bentley. Yes. Um, so uh, a bunch of uh, four-leaf clover good luck coins. Uh, I can't possibly have any bad luck for a long time with all this good luck rubbing off on me. So uh, thank you, Tim, and also I uh, hope you have a good St. Patrick's Day as well. Okay, got this safely put away. And just a reminder to everyone, I keep all of those correspondences. I don't throw any of these cards or letters away. I keep every single one of them. So uh, let's move on to the next one, and this is a box and I don't know who it's from. It doesn't seem to have a name on it. Um, so I, I cut it open. So let's open it up and see what it is. Uh, let's see. I guess we're doing this in ascending order of size. So this is the second smallest. Uh, let's see. There we go. Opens up like that. And we have some packing material. And oh, hello. That is... Let me zoom this in. This is Slaughter's Marauder's Mutt. Oh, there we go. Slaughter's Marauder's Mutt. Very nice. Slaughter's Marauder's Mutt. And what else we got here? Uh, we've got, um, this is the Battle Corps Cross Country. Cool. Uh, oh, we've got some accessories. Oh, I think this, yes. Looks like these are the accessories for Slaughter's Marauder's Mutt, and that's a big help. This is uh, this helps me complete something um, and get something ready for review. We have what? Looks. Let me back this out here. Um, we have some packages here with some cardboard backing. Carefully open these. And I haven't seen a letter or anything to say who this is from. So whoever this is from, thank you. Um, and yes. That's the file card. Perfect, perfect for Slaughter's Marauder's Mutt. And this one, I, um, if we're keeping with the theme, I think this should be another file card. Um, but yeah, no, no name on the box. Um, it's got my address. 
I don't know if the name was covered up by the shipping label, but um, I'm sorry, I don't know who sent this, but this is really helpful. Um, yes, and there's Cross Country's card. Uh, so that's fantastic. Uh, thank you for that, whoever you are. Um, and that absolutely helps me get something uh, ready for review. Um, this is going to help tremendously for uh, with a future review of this Mutt action figure. All right, I guess that brings us to this one from Emmanuel Henderson. And let's see, how does it open? Uh, how does it open? Let's see. Uh, okay. Oh, it looks like I may have to cut some more. Okay, I cut the box open properly now, so let's see what Emmanuel sent us. Um, let's see. Yeah, no, we have a letter with this one. We have a letter. Um, and yes, yes. Okay, so um, I am going to take a minute to... Oh my goodness, we have a lot of stuff. I'm going to take a minute to read this letter and see if this is something I can read aloud to you. Okay, Hendo, thank you for this. Um, and basically what this is and what he describes here in the box is a method of displaying uh, G.I. Joe figures. So uh, I'm going to get to that. I've got some additional stuff here. We've got some, uh, some paint brushes, paint brushes, um, and we have, ah, uh, yes. Uh, oh, look at that. We have some um, some uh, stickers, some decals, like uh, window decals here. I actually can use these. I've got some ideas for these. And we've got some American flag stickers. Uh, you know, for any time I need to slaughterize one of the Canadian vehicles, I can just slap an American flag sticker on it. Very, very nice. Um, and now I'm really curious. Um, he described what is in here. But um, I, I want to see it myself. There's a ton. Oh, check this out. There's like a ton of paint. And oh, look. Oh, oh look at this. Look at this. Uh, this is a brand new viewer mail folder. Now, as you guys know, I keep all of these, like all these letters, all the, the cards, all the correspondences, I keep all of those. And so this... Of course, th th you guys send me a surprising amount of, of stuff. Uh, so um, this is, is going to help because uh, my my folder, my accordion folder for uh, my letters and stuff is filling up really fast. And I still want to hear from you guys, and I still want you guys to write more. And this is just gorgeous. This is like, a, like the Crimson Guard version. I have uh, the older one uh, that was sent to me. And this is like, this is the perfect follow-up. I'll, I'll use this one as soon as the other one's full. Uh, so that's beautiful. Thank you. Um, and we have a ton, my goodness. We have a ton of paint, uh, acrylic paint. And you know, uh, I had gotten into painting a little bit, but I, my daughter actually loves these. So I will probably let her use some of these uh, because she enjoys working in acrylic. Um, and it's a ton of colors um, and some star stands, um, these clear stands um, that I've been using sometimes in reviews, uh, more fantastic um, acrylic paints. Um, in every color you can think of, some Gorilla, uh, some Gorilla Glue uh, Clear Grip. Uh, another thing that's really handy sometimes. And uh, let, uh, let's see this. This is all right. This is like the red, white, and blue. Awesome, awesome. Um, and and this here, which I think goes with it. All right, there we go. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. So uh, some assembly required, but um, I, I won't do this right now, but I am going to work on this because uh, this, once assembled, this should be a pretty good um, tiered display stand. Uh, and that's something that I've been wanting to get. I don't have one for my guys that are right up here. Uh, so uh, I, you, you go by, what was it, um, uh, Hendo? 
uh, Hendo. Thank you, Hendo, for everything. This is really cool and and a fun little project that I get to work on uh, and which I will work on and hopefully get a little better display for my shows. And last but not least, this is a box from Brandon Knight. Uh, Brandon is a longtime friend of the channel. He sent a lot of stuff that has really helped me uh, complete some things and get them ready for review. Uh, and he always sends amazing stuff. So uh, thank you, Brandon. Th thanks not just for this, but thanks for all of your support for such a long time. It really means a lot to me. So let's see what Brandon sent this time. Um, let's pop this open. And as usually, it, it's very uh, well packed. And we have a letter. We have a letter. Let's see, what do we got here? Um, okay, it says, Dear HCC788, you know what time it is? It's unboxing time. He is correct, it is unboxing time. This package is a special one, but be warned, this package may give you nightmares. Well, maybe it should be a Halloween package. Uh, I guess you can say this is a Pandora's, Pandora box moment. Uh, do you dare open the box? Once you open, there is no going back. Ooh, that's, uh, this is exciting and intriguing. Uh, hey, but don't worry, don't worry. I got, I got the good luck from Tim Bentley. I got, I've got good luck just all over me right now. Um, let's see. I uh, don't want to change your mind or opinion on this item. Just make a proper, complete review. Don't make me call toy services. Uh, enjoy this package, but uh, you have been warned of Pandora's box. Keep up the good work. Keep making good reviews and keep growing our community. Uh, pleasant dreams now. Ha ha ha. Um, uh, if you look really hard, you might find some items in this package that may not cause nightmares. Okay. All right, and that's another letter I will keep uh, from Brandon Knight. Let's let's see what he's talking about here. We've got some bubble wrap. Um, oh, I, I can already see what he's talking about. I can already see, um, and I, I think I think I get it. I think I get it. Um, I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna pull this out. You'll you'll know what I mean once I pull it out here. It is none other than the full card pack for Cobra Law, the three pack. Uh, wowie kazowie, look at that. Um, so it has been um, requested on a number of occasions that I take another crack at the Cobra Law review. And, um, you know, Brandon, you, you, you just may uh, have persuaded me to do that. I, I probably should. Um, let's see, I just got to figure out how to open this without damaging it. Let's see. Um, here, let me, uh, all right. Um, now I um, I stand by my most of my first Cobra Law review. I that was done during a period when I was um, I was uh, I was a bit more ranty. Um, I still have the same feelings about Cobra Law, but I feel like I could do I could do a better review. I think um, it's something that I probably should take a crack at. Uh, there's the trio, um, and yes, he, he followed through, he followed through, and, uh, and included, let me see, included the figures. Let's get these guys out here, and they look to be complete, they look to be complete, um, yeah, there's, uh, there's the Royal Guard. Um, I think I saw his microphone in there. Uh, there's the infamous, the infamous Golobulus. Uh, and yeah, there, uh, yeah, the uh, microphone for the Royal Guard is in here, and there is, of course, Nemesis Enforcer. All right, Brandon, you talked me into it. Um, I will, I will do another review of Cobra Law. Maybe I'll do it this year. Uh, there's still half of a year that isn't on the schedule. I haven't scheduled the last half of the year yet. And so uh, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to look at these again. So, uh, But there's more. There's more. Let's let's see what else we got. No nightmares from this. No nightmares. I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. I, um, I, I, uh, I, I've watched the movie enough times that... Um, you know, I think I've worked through any of my trauma about Cobra Law. Um, so let's see, let's see what else we got. Um, oh, there's more in there. Um, oh, that is a stand and a gun. And oh, 
Oh, please don't drop anything. Uh, and there is a comic book. I've gotten a kick out of some of these old. This is uh, Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos number 72. Um, and uh, Brandon sent some others, uh, and I've read some of them. I get a kick out of these. It, they're from a different time. And when you read them, you can really tell that, you know, they're from a different era. Um, but the artwork is is great um, and just lot, very dynamic um, and lots of uh, fun and sometimes amusing to read. Oh, look at this! All right, I think this is the last thing in the box. It is. It is. It is. Look at this! It's the plastic um, Foot Locker for 12 Inch Joe. I have the wooden one. Uh, but this is the plastic one. This is the one that came out later. That's so awesome. Um, let's see. It's, yes. Uh, see, we've got to look inside because there's more stuff inside. Everything's very well packed, Brandon, I have to say. Impeccably packed. Um, use this box to store your classic figures uh, from the commemorative collection. That way they are easy to find and ready to use for future reviews. Good idea! Good idea. Um, we've got some plastic bags. That's good. I needed some more of those. Uh, Cobra Commander V6, V6 Chuck E. Cheese Prize. Oh, hey, yeah. Check that out. Check this out. It says sealed. A sealed Cobra Commander version 6 uh, that was given away as a ch prize at Chuck E. Cheese. That's awesome. That is amazing. All right, make sure I got everything. I don't miss, miss anything. And then there is um, Destro, um, let's see, uh, in the mid-90s, Chuck E. Cheese had a few G.I. Joe figures as prizes. These might have been overstock figures. They did not come with weapons. Uh, and then this is uh, the Star Brigade Destro. Uh, so, wow, is all I can say. I mean, everything is cool. Everything is cool. Um, but in particular, um, I'm glad to get... Cobra Law, an actual pristine set of Cobra Law figures, so I can do a proper review. And, like, I know this is from before our era, right? This is from before Real American Hero, but I, this is just a really cool part of G.I. Joe history, um, and I love it. Um, and so thank you, Brandon. This is all stuff that will be very useful to me. And once again, thank you for all your support. And that's everything. And what an amazing set of stuff. Uh, thank you guys uh, for doing this. And thank you for everything you do. I really can't thank you enough. It, it means so much to me. I, I, I can't fully express it. Um, so uh, all of these things will be put to good use. Uh, I appreciate everyone who sends stuff and everyone who doesn't. Uh, even if you don't send anything to me, that um, I'm still just happy to have you here. So thank you. Um, and uh, I'll put that address on the screen one more time. If you're thinking of sending anything to the channel, that's where you would send it to. Uh, if I get anything in the P.O. box during March, we'll do another video like this in April. And if I don't, then I won't, and that'll be perfectly fine. Um, but um, we've had a donation uh, unboxing video every month for, uh, I think, at least a year, probably more than a year. Um, we're... we're we're on a roll, is what I'm saying, with the, with these. They, they just keep coming. So, uh, thank for that. That is literally all you. Um, you are the one. Uh, you are the ones who keep this uh, this unboxing series going. So, uh, thank you for that, and uh, thanks to everyone out there. I am working on the next uh, full video review. I hope it's something you enjoy, uh, and I'll see you then. Until then, remember, only GI Joe is GI Joe.